Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley Damore. I am the VP of Client Solutions here at Orange Grove Consulting, and I am joined with Keely Denenberg, who is the VP of Client Solutions and Marketing. Um, so we have been talking about common myths that we hear um, about, you know, relating to creating an inclusive workplace. And this is number three of our little series. So this will be our third myth that we're going to try to debunk for you. Um, and that myth is being that you need a really high, you know, serious budget or need to be a really big company to um, create DEI efforts and put them into place. Um, so Keely, if you want to talk a little bit more about why that's a myth. Yeah, I would love to. Thank you. So I think let's tackle the budget resources first. Um for an organization that's really interested in creating inclusion, there are so many resources available online. Uh, I would say one of the things you can do on your own is to start, you know, reviewing your own data, start collecting data. You might already have it. So, you know, kind of organizing it and understanding, you know, kind of what the trends are showing you. Um, that's something that you already have access to, hopefully. You know, one idea is you review, you know, previous engagement surveys with the data you've already gotten from employees to see, you know, what are they saying? What could make the biggest impact in, when it comes to being more inclusive? Um, in, in terms of Orange Grove, we have an option of organizations hiring us as an hourly kind of consultant coach to walk um, clients through that process. So it's a really good use of budget for an organization that doesn't have um, a large budget to invest at this point. And then in terms of size, that one is the salient one to me because if, if you have an employee, just one, you're big enough to work on um, inclusion efforts. Um, or whether you have 10 or 20 or 100 or 500, right? You want um, to reap the benefits of having your employees feel like they belong, they're engaged, um, they have a psychologically safe environment where they can share ideas, where they can push back, um, you know, kind of creation of healthy conflict to create better ideas for the organization. So that one, for sure, you any size, you should be thinking about inclusive practices and creating an inclusive environment. What I think is even more important than your budget or the size of your organization is leadership support. It's really, really hard for organizations to start to engage in creating a more inclusive um, environment if a leader or, you know, um, the top leader or other leaders don't see why that's important and aren't committed in some way to moving forward to create a more inclusive environment. That one's a really tough one. Um, but budget and size, not the biggest um, roadblocks. Good, good debunking, I think. It was a good myth to debunk. I agree. Yes, because we do hear that quite a lot. Um, but anyways, thanks for coming to our little three-part series about myths that we commonly hear. Um, if you want to talk more about them or have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to Keely and I at um, info at orangegroveconsulting.com. And check everyone. back to our uh, YouTube channel for other little micro conversations on other subjects as well. Thank you.